Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas for another songwriter showcase hosted by the human jukebox himself, Hal Savar, and featuring some amazing local, and not so local, musical talent. I've put a link to the live stream of this event down in the description. If you want to watch it after this video, I'd appreciate it. I'd also recommend that, um, because this one was full of surprises, you definitely want to like it and share it. If you'd like to be part of the showcase, contact Hal Savar using the social media handle down in the description. If you'd like to be on Room 6, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the email address or the Room 6 social media link down there as well. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on future reviews, interviews, live streams, and more. Thanks. Now let's get this show on the road, shall we? Sit back, open up your ears, strap on your barbecue bib, and get ready for something tasty. And bring a wet wipe. You're gonna need it. This weekly gathering of local talent has become quite the little event, and it's clear to see that Las Vegas has an awesome local music scene just waiting to explode into the public consciousness. Hal was gracious enough to let me open the show with a couple of my own tunes. Terrible idea, really. Link is in the description! And once I broke the ice, it was time for the first official guest of the night, showcase newcomer Mariposa from local artist group The Pigeon Hat Collective. Mariposa's music immediately grabbed people's attention with pretty vocal melodies over sparse guitar strums that made the listener pay attention to the lyrics, which were thoughtful and thought-provoking. What a great way to start the show. I'm hoping to get her on the channel soon. The next act was Russ Lacasse, hailing all the way from Arizona. Russ is a frequent showcase guest, a two-time Grammy-recommended Nashville songwriter, and always welcome on the stage. Russ's music is best described as if Nashville country and western music went to Hawaii on holiday. I've often used words like laconic and southwestern myself to describe it in previous reviews, and today I'm going to add laid back to his lexicon. Look it up. Next on stage was our host, Hal Savar, with a stage presence matching his dazzling guitar. Hal picked up the baton passed by Mariposa and kicked things into high gear. Hal's a consummate showman, known for catchy earworms and powerhouse vocals. He'll be releasing some of his music soon, so definitely follow him online for updates. The next songwriter on stage was Jeremy Luker, better known as Opossum, who also is part of Room 6 alumni Trash Animals and another showcase newcomer. Speaking of Trash Animals, they've been on the channel before, and uh, it was interesting to say the least. Very interesting, but thoroughly supercilious. Make sure you check that out when you're done here. Opossum's music was also interesting, combining time changes with intricate walking riffs that blended subversive sensibilities with beautiful melodies. Then, as we were all getting used to things, he proceeds to pull out a banjo. I got blisters on my fingers! After blowing everyone away, Opossum was followed by yet another showcase newcomer in the form of Dennis Blair. Another solid Nashville songwriter, now living in Las Vegas, Dennis's set highlighted his great vocal control and innate storytelling sense with songs reminiscent of Kenny Rogers and classic John Bon Jovi's solo work. Then, as we were all getting used to things, he proceeds to pull out a trumpet! Okay, he didn't pull out a trumpet, but Kevin Mullinax did as he joined Dennis on stage for some horn action, which was welcomed by everyone and really classed up the joint. Getting things back to what passes for normal at these things, repeat showcase guest David Wax was next. David's known for building storylines through his music in the style of Elvis Costello, with catchy choruses and set time devoted to his guitar playing just as much as his vocals. He's always a treat to watch. Switching things up yet again, the next act was Jazzy Fresco, who brought a little rap game to the showcase. Performing to his own tracks, Jazzy's set had the live stream chat blowing up, and the crowd at Soul Belly was just as excited by his lyrical flow and stage presence. If you get the chance to catch him live, definitely take it. Jumping back on stage to finish out the night was our host, Hal, regaling everyone with the stories behind his songs. Um, it felt a little bit like VH1's series Storytellers, back when VH1 and MTV showed music videos. 
You see, kids, there used to be these things called music videos. As usual, Hal's set was designed to end the night on a high note, while reinforcing the community spirit he's worked so hard to cultivate. Then, as we were all getting used to things, he pulls out a Kevin! Oh my god, who the hell cares? That's right, Kevin Molinax jumped on stage with some more horn action. This time, he brought up two pieces of shiny hardware in the form of a trombone and a flugelhorn? <laughs> Um, anywho. Overall, this installment of the Soul Belly Barbecue Songwriter Showcase was amazing and equal parts surprising and inspiring. I can't wait for next week's show, and I hope you'll join us either in person or on the live stream. See you then! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope we'll see you down at Soul Belly Barbecue or on the live stream next week. Uh, in the meantime, oh, I'm sorry, it's at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In the meantime, if you want to support this channel, by all means click the Room 6 social media link down in the description or just go to room6.shop where you can pick up merch like this. Dun -dun -dun! And you can tell everybody that you support the local scene too. Uh, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does make a difference, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.